All right. Hi, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> this is KB. We're saving 101, and I am the crazy KB, Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting me, then welcome. I'm having extreme technical difficulties. My normal setup, which is my computer, my mic has not been working, guys. That's one of the reasons why I stopped doing videos. I am not a tech savvy chick, so God help me, I hope this works. Because this is my last and final take, and if not, I guess I'll just be done. All right, so um, I am changing my things up and I'm really sorry, guys. I'm going to try to keep adjusting this so that I, I don't know. I even look like I'm off in outer space looking at, trying to look at this. So, uh, okay, let's just dive in. Um, if you've been following me, you know I have been changing um, everything that I'm doing. Um, I have been not shopping as much. I have been paying up for items. And I have been cross-listing everywhere. So, um, I do have some... Thrift Haul Thursday, a little bit of goodies that I got for you. So let's dive in. Some of them are not so great and others are right on. And if you've been watching me in the past, you will see the difference. So, all right, I'm going to try to, I don't know, should I move this this way? I don't know what to do. I'm telling you. All right. Anyway, let's try. All right. So guys, um, one of the first things is I did not plan on doing a video, but one of the items I just listed yesterday from this haul is already sold. So I wanted to make sure I got it done as quickly as I possibly could. Um, one uh, section of this is from Goodwill. Um, if you've followed me, my daughter just got married last week and I had my mother-in-law from my late husband in and um, I'm watching my granddaughter. So it's been a very busy and exhausting week. So, um, but I did have to take my honey to the doctors and I stopped in for a little break and shopped at Goodwill. Not Dollar Days, so everything here I did pay up for. So, but um, yeah, one of the items already sold and it's all phenomenal. All right, why do I look like I'm not looking at you people? All right. Okay, so I'll just go through and start off with the more modern pieces and an item that sold. Um, guys, I never pack up, pack up. I never pass up the sack. So this is just a little leather hobo shoulder bag by the sack. Um, and I listed it for 39. I probably should have listed it higher. Um, I sent out an offer of 35. It was accepted. I did pay 404 for this, I believe. Um, so I made like $24, which great, and especially in one day. All right, um, let's see, my more modern pieces. Sorry, guys. This one happens to be a Tibby, size four, um, and it's like this cotton. Um, uh, can you even see it? Guys, this stinks. How does people do this with their phones? I don't know. I'm going to have to think of something. Anyway, it has this really pretty applique down here, and it is a very expensive brand. I think I paid like four dollars for this one. It does need a little bit of pilling, depilling um, here on the appliques, but um, I really I thought, oh well, I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, I'm either going with really more of a higher end modern or my funky vintage, and yeah, change up the business a bit. All right, all of these are already listed, so here we go. Here's another piece. <clears throat> this happens to be Hail Bob, and it is a size medium. Green is supposed to be like one of the colors of um, the season, and this is really super cute. It is a mini dress. It is silk with velour burnout and beading in like a medallion print, and it's just like a little, I don't know if you'd say shift, um, slip, and... Um, course some of the keywords that I used was go go um retro 70s because it gives me that vibe so yes and it is a very expensive brand so I thought I would give it that one a shot um again I think I only paid like four bucks for this one so my goodwill has a 20% off coupon 
Here you go. And this is how I keep my, there you go, squeeze it down, and then I'll put it into my filing cabinet. So if you haven't seen, I love my filing cabinets, so I don't have to lift bins because I do have some physical issues. Anyway, there we go. Now I can put it away. And on to more fabulous items. So, Cache happens to be one of my number one favorite brands. And um, I found this feels like a lamb's leather. Um, it is gorgeous 80s bomber patchwork faux fur trim. Um, I don't know, Top Gun. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, this uh, 80s leather jackets happen to be my highest selling items. So I had one that I sold for $350 on Etsy and I had another that I sold for $250 on Depop. So when I picked this one up for $12.99 plus my 20%, which is like around $10, bucks, um, yes, and I do have it listed for $350. It is a size large. It is a gorgeous brown. I don't know if it's showing up with the black. There you go. And yeah, it is so stinking soft, guys. It's gorgeous. Okay. All right. Another item I got on that trip happens to be this like vintage 90s guest leather purse. And it does have the guests on the metal logo. Sorry, guys. I have no idea where this is, how to get it. There we go. Guess. Um, and it is like, I put braided hobo biker western leather shoulder hobo bag. There you go. Um, I already have quite a few likes on that. Um, and I think I paid eight without my discount. So it might have been like six. Anyway, uh, this one I got for $2.50. And look at this. Can you see? It is so stinking cool. It is a wool blend, vintage 80s, uh, Carol Little, size small, military, band collar, applique. Um, of course, we've got the striping, ornate button. Oops, am I missing one? Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to have to fix that listing because, oh, this one's missing one too. All right, um, I'll have to fix my listing. <laughs> Bummer. Anyway, um, I think it still should do very well, um, especially vintage, uh, military style. What is it? Um, you know, like Michael Jackson, of course. Um, I don't know, I put Rhythm Nation. Um, and my daughter gave me two current movies, and now I can't remember. Oh, The Black Parade, I think it was, and um, my something romance chemical my chemical romance so um i don't know we'll see how that goes uh with those new keywords okay my last two pieces from my goodwill that i went to and it was not my normal goodwill so um and it was like i said on tuesday this one happens to be a vintage and i say 70s because it has a nylon zipper does not have a metal zipper um and to me, it does scream more 60s, but ugh, nylon zippers are 70s. Um, and anyway, it is, if you can see, this is like such a vibrant, um, it's gorgeous. It does have some texture to it and covered buttons, a sleeveless scoop neck, and this is like a little peplum. Um, it is to the floor and it is nice and full. Um, and this I would put I put as a hostess dress. It also has, look at that back button detail back there, but it is absolutely to die for. So yes, and this one I did pay $9.99 for, um, and then my discount, so I think it was like $8.06. All right, <clears throat> this one I paid $4.01, $4.01. Um, and I just listed it this morning, and I already have, a, somebody bundled it. Um, I've got news, guys. If you are shopping vintage in my Poshmark or um, any place where I send out offers, the lowest you're going to get on an offer is 10% because I have multiple platforms I can put it on that are going to be full priced or whatever, um, unless I run like an Etsy sale. Um, anyway, this one is an 80s, vintage 80s, cottage core, prairie, 100% cotton, 
um, shoulder pad pleated uh, elastic puff statement puff sleeve short statement sleeves um, mock wrap it does have um, a large elastic and it is a midi and it's nice and full and in this absolutely gorgeous print so yes pink is another one of those colors so yeah all right so that happens to be all of my um my little thrift at the resale shop um i'm going to show you some fails I, I got one set of fails um i started doing some online arbitrage I did that the last one. Um, this one I was so stoked over because first off they're vintage, second off they're fry boots. Fry boots sell really well for me. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to get them. They were $11 and then $8.05 shipping. Well, I'm going to tell you, this particular reseller does not necessarily totally correctly describe their items because they had a really nice photo of just like that. But... There's nothing but a bunch of damage. Now I did email them. I was hoping that maybe they would even give me just a little bit of a discount off of it because it is on both of these boots and it is really bad. Um, what they trick, they they really did a little trick. Um, they put um, only two photos up and then they put a bunch of photos way down at the bottom in their description. So, um, unfortunately I was drinking some wine and I thought, oh my gosh, that's going to be awesome. I could sell those. Not a problem. Well, now it's going to be a little bit of a project for me and that's not such a bad thing. I am going to dye them this. They are suede. I am going to dye them a black to help cover, um, this right here. And, um, so then it will be vintage upcycled fry boots. So I still think that I could maybe go through and get, a decent amount for them it's just yeah if I was to return them I most likely would have to pay shipping if I paid the shipping I'm already out eight dollars I might as well try to um, do something with them all right there we go next all right so I did a little more online arbitrage and um, I'm gonna tell you so I love my letter bags um, my purses my shoes in fact if you watched my last video I had a um, I know people say that their vintage shoes don't really sell that well. Well, I had a pair that was from the 90s. I don't know. I called them olive oil. They looked <laughs> brats, um, all that. And um, I made $55 on those. So um, those already sold. And it, they sold within three days of listing. So mm, vintage shoes, I do fine with. Now, I picked up a bunch of purses from one seller. The I averaged out the price point. If they come to $13.88 a piece. Some of them are going to be great and some of them are not going to be so great. But I'm going to tell you what I did. So, um, first I'll show you the non-great one. Um, I had a bundle. There was a bundle of two. Now, would you describe this as a tote? <laughs> no, I would not describe this as a tote. Um, it is a mini baguette clutch with a graduate tassel in a satin finish. Um, and it is um, made in France, and it is designer um, Luc Beniot. Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. So this one, $13.88, I would never have done. But it hit, there was two. And um, here's the other one. So there you go. In fact, this particular bundle was three. It was thirty-two oh nine, and I got fifty percent off. So, um, but this is a three D. Look at that! It's gorgeous, embroidered, floral, and baguettes are still really in there right now. So, um, it is a mini baguette top handle, um, magnetic kick. Is it magnetic? Yeah, magnetic kiss closure, and it is um, uh, Anna B U I Gallery. I don't know. I've, I've not heard of it, but um, you know what? This is just so stinking adorable. I do have the measurements and I did put mini. So just like the other one, I put mini um, and all of these are pretty much baguettes. So um, the next one, I'll show you this one. This one just happens to be a 30s. Um, and again, it has metallic floral print um, threading with sequins 
um, brown on brown, and it has a chain top handle frame kiss closure, and inside it actually has a two-sided mirror. So it's really cool. Ta-da! So, um, yes, I think that will do okay. It's not the most fab, but it is what it is. Okay, on to my more fun ones. Well, I'll do my first one that I have to fix this one, so this one has a little bit of a flaw to it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have you take a peek. It is gorgeous. This is all hand beaded. Um, I do need to get one of those things where you pull the threads through because you can see like right here. So I need to order that along with my shaver. Oh, I forgot to show you my two modern items from my thrift haul, but that's fine. I'm just going to skip that because I'm doing this on my phone and this is take five and my computer didn't work. So let's keep going. Anyway, again, it is a framed purse kiss closure. Um, <clears throat> it is vintage. It was, again, not as described. It said in perfect condition. I'm missing a bead there. And all of these strings um, will, uh, will lose these beads. So I need to do some fixing on that. And it does have some interior staining. But um, to be honest, I really think that um, this little mini, I don't know, what'd you call it? Um, carpet bag and beaded embroidered floral clutch and I haven't dated it yet but um, I think it still should do very well and I should get a pretty decent price for it okay and to this one <clears throat> okay two of these have really super cool stories to them I'm gonna show you this one first okay so this one now if you can see that better um, it's very ornate um, framed purse kiss closure and it is silver plated um, and the reason that I can say that it's silver plated is the tarnish does wipe off um, also it is like a designer and it's Corinne Shay I think that's how you say it um, anyway when googling her um, and I googled her name first I did Google images, then I Googled her name and all that good stuff. I actually found a newspaper article, well, not an article. Um, I found two advertisements. And in the 90s, she took the uh, vintage frames and she like redid vintage handbags. So I definitely think this chain, you can see the difference. This chain is very silver, where this is very tarnished. So um, that this was probably added, um, but yes, so it's at least a vintage 90s, but probably even earlier. And like I said, with a silver plated frame. So I have that one listed pretty high. I do already have a few likes on that. Okay, this one is really super cool. And I do have it listed very high. Um, it looked vintage to me. And if you can see, look at that 3D rosette is leather um, again we have a top handle mini baguette um, kiss closure and I put suitcase frame and it's by Irva um, now oh, I apologize guys I'm so sorry um, that was me trying to listen to my video it was really loud um, and I could not hear myself on my computer so and I even had a microphone plugged in I have like this this is supposed to be like a really super expensive microphone didn't work so anyway, back to this one. So of course I'm Google, Google, Google. I did get some help from uh, the Boss Seller Group. So if you don't watch Katie and Vicky, um, or Vicky and Katie, no, I think it's Katie and Vicky. Anyway, I love watching them, and um, they have a Facebook group. I did put a shout out on um, two of these purses, going, how do you date them? Any tips? Um, because I want to learn, um, not just actually, you know get the info from people but anyway somebody went through and they found the actual names of the designers um, when they had googled it and then they googled the names and what they came up with is that um, these two ladies went through and um, it's made in Spain and they took vintage frames um, in um, I want to say the early 2000s so it's a Y2K um, and they made uh, 
like made them. So it's a vintage frame. I don't know if you would consider it upcycled or whatnot. Um, this particular brand of purse does have um, a few celebrities that have been photographed with it. Um, I know Cameron Diaz was one of them. So, um, and like I said, it's unique, it's unique, it's rare. And yeah, I thought that was really super cool. So there we go. All right. And my last and final piece that I'm going to show you today happens to be, this is like my all-time favorite. Guys. So I want you to look. Now this one is a vintage 70s. Can you, is it in focus? There we go. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Whoops, my little. There we go. Um, again, top handle. It's a vintage 70s. If this was like in needlepoint, and that's what really kind of threw me off. It, I mean, it has to be needlepoint, and that would then it could be more of a 30s style purse. So this one is more of like a tapestry carpet bag, top handle, mini bag at frame, kiss closure. Well, yeah, I, get, I think this one's still called kiss. Um, and the interior is what uh, totally made it, yes, it's vintage, it's not modern. So, um, because you know, they can remake things. Um, this one has a ton of likes on it also. And yeah, so there you go. Um, very different from my hauls in the past, I believe. So, oh. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, if you have any comments or whatever, do me a favor, leave them down below. Don't forget, show me the love, give me some thumbs up and some likes and all that great jazz. But until next time, guys, hopefully I can fix this setup. Bye.